Hey everybody, uh, upload today on a verse out of the Bible and how it might relate to Egypt and the Great Pyramid. I believe that a lot of uh, spiritual teachings have filtered down through Egypt and I think this might be a connection to the Bible and Egypt and the Great Pyramid and some mathematics and some sacred geometry. Now, first of all, whenever I do an upload with uh, any, that has anything to do with the Bible, I always get messages or comments saying, you know, are you religious? You know, do you believe in the Bible? Are you a Bible thumper? Um, no, I'm not religious. I am spiritual. Um, I don't consider myself religious. Um, I went to church as a youngster. wasn't very spiritual then. I don't go to church now. And I, now I do consider myself spiritual. And what is the difference between being religious and spiritual? Uh, that can be defined many different ways uh, by each of each individual. I like to look at it this way. Um, if you took spiritual teachings and uh, made an analogy with water, I think being spiritual, you are looking for that uh, water that is coming off the top of the mountain that is true, it's pure, it's clean, it's unfiltered, it's free flowing. And I just think modern day religion is a lot like uh, modern day plumbing and the water going through that. It's filtered there's additives put into it and it's artificial flowing and it's just not very pure so that is just the analogy i like to use when describing the difference between being spiritual and religious just thought i'd share that but anyway this verse out of the bible it comes from john 21 and it has to do with the disciples they are out fishing and jesus tells them they are not catching anything Jesus tells them to throw their net over the right side of the boat and they will find some fish. Uh, the net fills with fish. It's a large number of fish. And verse 11 says this, it says, So Simon Peter climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153. But even with so many, the net was not torn. Now, I always thought that was very interesting. I talked to a friend about this a couple months ago saying, you know, 153, the exact number there. Why are they using an exact number? That's kind of strange. And the more I looked into this, I found some interesting correlations between the number 153 and the Great Pyramid and what was special about that number 153. And today I just thought I'd share. So whenever I have fish and the Bible together, I always think of the Vesica Pisces symbol. This ancient symbol, this ancient religious sacred symbol that has different meanings to different people. Um, what I'd like to concentrate on is the sacred geometry in that symbol. And here this diagram shows it perfectly and how it relates to the Great Pyramid in Egypt. It says the exterior, exterior angle of the Great Pyramid at Giza can be reproduced with the Vesca Pisces symbol. It has long been suspected that the Great Pyramid was a subsidiary of geometric knowledge. And here it just shows it perfectly, the Great Pyramid inside the Vesca Pisces and how it relates. And I want to read this website here. It says, The Profound Secret of the Pythagorean School. The profound secrets of the Pythagorean School can now be discussed in simple diagrams. We can consider this as a graphic demonstration of the divine light embedded into the human body. The explanation must begin by showing the square root of 3, or the Vesca Pisces symbol. And it says, The geometric ratio of these dimensions is actually the square root of 3, or 1.73205. It says the ratio 265 to 153 is an approximation to the square root of 3 with the property that no better approximation can be obtained with smaller whole numbers. So there we have the number 153 and how it relates to the Vesca Pisces uh, in a very, uh, very direct way. It says modern researchers have com commented on the significance of this deeply symbolic form. This symbolic intersection represents the common ground, shared vision, or mutual understanding between equal individuals the shape of the human eye itself is a Vesca Pisces. The spiritual significance of seeing eye to eye to the mirror of the soul was highly regarded by numerous Renaissance artists who used this form extensively in art and architecture. 
The ratio of the axis of the form is the square root of 3, which alludes to the deepest nature which cannot be adequately expressed by rational language alone. Okay, so now we're really catching on here to the relation between 153, the Vesca Pisces, and the Great Pyramid. And a few other things that I found out about the number 153. On this web website it says this, the 153 steps of the Grand Gallery match the 153 fishes gathered in John 21, 11. There's another relation to 153. On this website it says this, and I think this is very important about the number 153 and how it's unique. It says if you sum the cube of the digits in 153, you always get 153. That is the only number in the entire numbering system which will do that and it is done by cubing the digits, which is once again the use of the number 3, multiplying the digit itself three times. Simply this, you take the number 153, you times 1 times 1 times 1, and you get 1. You take 5 times 5 times 5, you get 125, and you take 3 times 3 times 3, and you get 27, and you add all those numbers together, which says right here, and you get 153. And I believe that is called the Trinity function, and that is unique to the number 153. What else? Well, on this website, it goes into a little bit of uh, Karl Monk stuff, but it says this. The number 153, an ancient Pythagorean story problem that the code has solved. He says Jesus returns from the dead and mentions this highly significant number to some of his apostles. What was recently discovered is that the entrance to the Great Pyramid is at the 17th course level. Well, if you take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and you go all the way up to 17 right here it adds up to 153 um, the entrance to the Great Pyramid being on the 17th course this number 153 popping up just a coincidence well let's see if there's anything else here it says at the 360 foot level 360 being a very important number in uh, ancient Egypt. At the 136 foot level, at the Great Pyramid, you are on the 153rd course of the Great Pyramid. So there we have another relation to 153. It says the length of the Grand Gallery inside the Great Pyramid is 100 and 53 feet. There's another relation. Now I'm going to take you to a site here. This has all the dimensions of the Great Pyramid on it. And here we got a height 480.69 feet. We're going to add 480.69 feet. We're going to divide that by 153, that number, and what do we get? We get pi to the nearest one thousandth, the exact number of pi. Is this just a coincidence? We have all these correlations between 153, the Vesca Pisces, the Great Pyramid, this verse in the Bible, I just think uh, stuff like this is cool. Maybe you do too. Have a nice week.